Welcome to episode 371, Wang Xing, Father of China Web 2.0, 8 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 371, lesson 1 to lesson 4. This is an outline of episode 371, lesson 5 to lesson 8. Lesson number 1, for one decade, from 2004 to 2014, he was Mr. Kong. For example, he cloned Facebook with Ren Ren. Also, he cloned Twitter with Fan Fao, and he cloned Groupon with Mei Tuan. So number two, he's the father of China Web 2.0. Uh, what's the major difference between Web 1.0 and Web 2.0? Well, key for Web 2.0 is user-created contents, such as Twitter, Facebook, Yelp. Wang Xing has cloned Facebook, Twitter, and Groupon. Lesson number three, what is Internet Plus and why the Chinese Internet is more advanced? It is the same Internet, but here's the Chinese difference. First, scope. You can do a lot more in China. Second, mobile payment. Penetration is over 90%. Third, sheer number of users. China has three times the Internet users as the United States. 802 million in 2018. For example, Mei Duan Tanping alone has 350 million users, which is bigger than the entire population of the United States. Over the past five years, China has embraced a life online. Some expats here in China, as well as Chinese themselves, have dubbed the phenomenon China's four new great internet renovation. Same as the four old inventions, it is their new technology that transforms people's lives. One of these four, and the one that appears to be floating Thomas's boat, is mobile payment, in which China is now leading the world in scale, scope, convenience, and coverage. So Lesson number four, tenacity and heartbreak. He founded Ren Ren and sold it for $2 million. In 2011, Ren Ren went IPO for $5 billion. Wang Xing must have hurt deeply. Lesson number five, China censorship. Wang Xing created Fan Fao, a Twitter copycat. Fan Fao was taken offline by the Chinese government after the Xinjiang riot of July 2009 and would not return for more than a year. Lesson number six, build it as easy as possible for the users. Yeah, I think the, the essence of Web 2.0 in China is to make things easier. So for microblogging sites, uh, we make, make it easy for people to post whatever whatever in their mind. So just a short message from their cell phone or from their instant message like QQ or MSN or Google Talk or just from a web browser. So it is so easy that people who don't like to write traditional long blog like to write short blogs like mini blog, micro blogging. Actually it's quite easy so people do it day and night from everywhere, every place and anytime. Lesson number seven, people are more important than money. In this quickly growing development, there are so many competitors. In fact, all are the capitalists. There are many who have been in the world and you can see it clearly. I think this thing is necessary, but it is not all about money. In the 更重要的是什么呢？当然是人了。我始终认为人是最重要的。你是不是有足够好的团队？有足够好的团队，你才会有正确的战略，才有强的执行力。所以归根到底都是人。That's number eight to beat your competitors, and there are thirty thousand of them. The most important thing is to understand your customers. 一般来说，你在关注竞争对手的时候和这个竞争环境的格局的时候，你比较在乎的是哪几点的变化？其实最重要是消费者的变化。哦、oh. ，就在我们这个事情里面有三部分，嗯，就中间是美团网，一端是消费者，一端是商户，然后才是我们的直接竞争对手。就消费者的变化跟商户的变化对我们来说最重要的。这个变化你怎么能发现的呢？一部分是我们内部的数据，就我们花了大量的时间去做这个数据统计系统。我们可以看到各种各样的数据，以这个数据的变化，嗯，就从我们内部数据可以看到很多的趋势
Thank you for watching. Please try Chinese Internet Purchase when you have a chance to see if Internet Plus is indeed the future. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.